I think the basic idea of natural selection is correct, clearly, and that is if there are variations, uh, if a species has variants and some of these variants are better at reproducing and surviving, then those better variants will end up uh, overtaking the species. The question is whether that idea, which is correct, explains the invention of new clever things. And that's where Darwin went wrong. He assumed that event inventions could be had a little bit at a time, and not just a little bit at a time, but each little bit paying off, each little bit being uh, an improvement to survival. And if you think about the way humans invent, it's never the case that every little step toward the finished invention pr provides some functional benefit. In human invention, we have to do a whole lot of work before we realize any benefit. And that surely has to be the case for invention generally. So that's really, I think, the key point where Darwin was wrong is the idea that you can get wonderful, th wonderful things a little bit at a time with every little bit having payoff. Instead, you have to do an awful lot of work and get an awful lot right in order to get the benefit.